What is up YouTube? It's your girl Evelyn and today I am bringing you five lesser known lesbian films that you can watch today on Amazon Prime. This list is in no particular order, so sit back, enjoy the video, and make sure to let me know what other hidden lesbian gems you've discovered on Prime. You have a really cute ass. <laughs> it's distracting. I'm serious, it's distracting. My ass. Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> it's because you worked me out so good. If you've ever fantasized about a blazered up Aubrey Plaza doing lesbian things, I have got a treat for you. Addicted to Fresno is a raunchy comedy from my girl Jamie Babbitt, the director of possibly my favorite lesbian film of all time, but I'm a cheerleader. Addicted to Fresno follows two sisters on their quest to get rid of the body of a man they accidentally killed, and it's essentially just one wacky adventure after another. Natasha Lyonne's character is a sweet and slightly naive lesbian who is being courted by her trainer, Aubrey Plaza, in a tank top. And while Addicted to Fresno is enjoyable enough, it's no but I'm a cheerleader. The humor is less witty and satirical and more raunchy and hangover style, but I still enjoyed it and definitely think it's worth the watch. She could have met anyone that day and I just feel so fortunate that I get to be a part of her life. Ooh, all sorts of goodies. Oh my God. Bean is an absolutely adorable vlog style documentary about a young woman who swipes right on Tinder and finds not only a girlfriend, but also a kidney. 25 year old Alana has lupus, a chronic autoimmune disease, and she's been in desperate need of a kidney transplant for five years. After Alana tender matches with Lori, a kind hearted and upbeat cheerleader, it's not long before Lori makes a life altering sacrifice for Alana. Y'all. This documentary had your girl bawling. Lori's selflessness is beyond touching and Alana's strength is nothing short of inspiring. I cannot recommend this film highly enough. And while it will probably make you cry, it will also absolutely melt your heart. The Berlin Affair, aka Nazis behaving badly but don't worry because they eventually get what they deserve, is a period film made in the 1980s but set in Germany in the 1930s. Louise, the upper class wife of a Nazi diplomat, falls in love with Mitsuku, the daughter of a Japanese ambassador. And as the women attempt to keep their affair a secret, unforeseen complications arise. The Berlin Affair is definitely an acquired taste of a film. I recommend it to those of you who are fans of film noir or just really love the aesthetic of films set during the 1930s. So if you're in the mood to watch upper class Europeans drink, smoke, and have lots and lots of Cinemax After Dark style sex, you might want to give The Berlin Affair a watch. I have such a dread of ending my days alone. Yes. We all. But recently I've allowed myself to think that I may not be. Am I wrong? Barbara is a lonely and bitter teacher nearing retirement who becomes infatuated with Sheba, a new art teacher who quickly becomes beloved by everyone. But when Barbara discovers Sheba is keeping a less than legal secret, she attempts to blackmail and manipulate Sheba into becoming, well, her partner. Come on now, doll. Now, the predatory lesbian trope has been around for a very long time, and Notes on a Scandal squarely falls into that trope. I won't defend it in that regard, but Notes on a Scandal is easily one of my top 10 favorite movies of all time. If you haven't seen it, do yourself a favor and check it out. You won't regret it. Oh no, to us. I mean, you know, to both of us. Not just me. Oh, shoot! Oh my, oh my 
my gosh. You're all wet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Liberty Secret is a 2016 musical that I enjoyed way more than I should have. I have to warn you though, if you aren't a fan of musicals or Seventh Heaven, you probably won't like it as much as I did. Liberty is the daughter of a conservative preacher and Nikki is the lesbian spin doctor of a conservative presidential candidate. And for whatever reason, the two women end up working together and eventually fall in love and yada yada yada. Liberty's Secret is high in satire and low in seriousness. The romance is cheesy as hell, every song that Liberty sings sounds like it was written for a Disney princess, the director uses more green screens than a YouTube video, and every song in the movie is approximately two minutes too long. But despite all of that, Liberty's Secret put a smile on my face. It's wholesome, it's corny, and it's ultimately pretty darn sweet. So if you're in the mood to turn off your brain and turn on your heart, I say give it a shot. That is it for the list. I want to give a quick shout out to my newest patron